Wow, look at that basket full of apples. Today we're going to read a nonfiction story about apples. Look what you notice. Do you notice that this picture looks like, does, does not look like somebody drew it? It looks like a real picture. I noticed that these apples are red, but I also noticed that whenever I look at a picture of an apple that somebody drew, usually the whole apple is red. And I'm noticing on this one, I noticed that there are some parts of it that are yellow. There's leaves attached to some of them. There's stems attached to some of them. And these ones are in a basket. Now I wonder if all apples are red. Hmm. Let's wonder as we read this nonfiction story. Remember, nonfiction means it is a real story with real information. So the first page is going to be our table of contents. And remember, the table of contents is where we find things that are in the story. Let's read the table of contents. On page one, it says, what are apples? On page two, we'll find out about apple orchards. Page three, parts of an apple. Page four, different kinds of apples. Page five, an apple a day? Question mark. Page six, interesting facts. And page seven, the glossary. Do you remember what the glossary is? All right, let's look out for words that are underlined or slanted, and let's see if we can figure out the meaning when we get to the glossary. What are apples? Apples are some of the world's most popular fruit. They are healthy, delicious, and all over the globe. There are over 7,500 different kinds of apples. Some of them are red, others yellow or green, and some with all three of those colors. One thing that they have in common is that they are all grown on trees. Apple orchards. Apple trees take about five to seven years to mature enough to be able to produce some apples. Each spring, apple trees blossom. Oh look, there's the bl blend in the word blossom. A blossom is a flower. Inside the flower, there are seeds that can eventually turn into apples. In order for this to happen, bees need to pollinate the flower. After pollination, the blossoms fall off the tree and the apples begin to grow. It takes about five months for an apple for apples to be ready to be picked off a tree. Parts of an apple. Now look at this page. Um, I'm noticing that there's no lines that go from the word to the actual part of the apple, but I'm also noticing that it looks a lot like a diagram. Let's keep reading. Have you ever seen an apple cut straight down the middle? It is a great way to look at the parts of an apple. If you leave an apple sitting after it's been cut, it will begin to turn brown. This is because the flesh is reacting to oxygen in the air. Also, did you know that 80% of an apple is water? Wow. Okay, so let's read the parts of the apple. There's the leaf stem, skin, flesh, seeds, and the core. And those are all the parts of the apple. Different kinds of apples. Apples vary in size, color, and taste. They also have different purposes. Fuji, Granny Smith, Red Delicious, and yellow delicious are the most popular for baking. Gala apples are crisp and sweet, which makes them great for apple cider. Jonathan McIntosh and wine sap apples are known for being used to make applesauce because their flesh is softer. An apple a day? 
There is a popular saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Do you think there is any truth to this statement? Apples are very nutritious, so they do help keep us healthy with ingredients like vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. Did you know that many of the vitamins in your apple are in the skin? So if someone wants to peel an apple for you, tell them no thank you. Interesting facts. China produces more apples than any other country. Apple trees can live to be 100 years old. Apples are members of the rose family. The best way to pick an apple is not to pull it, but to twist it gently. It takes 36 apples to make one gallon of apple cider. And here's our glossary. The flesh is the soft part of an apple under the skin on page four. Oxygen is a colorless, meaning it doesn't have any color, gas that can be found in the air. We breathe oxygen. It's on page three. Produce is to make or cause to happen on page two. And purposes are the reason for doing something, page four. If you enjoyed this story, you can go back and notice the words that are in the glossary now that you know what they mean. Feel free to read this story again.